Hi there! So I'm so excited to share this episode with you guys. Um, I have had so much happen over the past uh, however long it's been since my last update and uh, you know there's some other really exciting things in my life. I got a new job for one. I ended up moving from one job to another even though I really like the old one. Um, I started watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and I really like that. I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise. That's really cool too. I've also really gotten a really big obsession with Hamilton the Musical and I think it's just really fun. And I haven't learned all the songs yet but I'm going to get there some point. Um, I really like this one song in particular and I did that during my camera practice today. I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da, 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 da. So yeah, I'm really excited to tell you about my new device. I am getting my own myoelectric prosthetic and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to explain that to you in just a little bit. Uh, but first, I just wanted to, you know, explain that the picture that some of you saw on Instagram or on Snapchat, that's actually not the finished product. The finished product, I don't know when I'm going to get it, but it's going to look much prettier than that. If you look closely, there's some wires sticking out of that thing, so it's going to look a little bit better uh, when I get the final one. I got some questions from you guys. So, yes, I do have my prosthetic and it works with two sets of electrodes. One is on the exterior side of my arm and one goes on the interior. They're little touch pads, these electrodes, and you'll see they're about yay big. When you touch it, it moves the sensor to either open or close. And that's pretty much all it does. Uh, you can make it go slow or you can make it go fast. You can make it go hard, which I did to this poor hand by accident. Um, but the way that you get your muscles to move is by doing the following. So what you do is stick your arm out and with the shorter arm you have to think of okay you need to move your hand and make it go like this towards you. So this going inwards you're just us going like this you're just isolating your wrist not your elbow but by doing that that moves your exterior muscle wherever that reads and then to do the interior one you're doing an outward motion like so. So interior, exterior, I uh, got two reading sites and in the first set of videos you're gonna see how exactly uh, that mapped out. Uh, it is a lot harder for me to do this side and it's a lot easier for me to do this side so you're gonna see me try them both out. And that's going to be this first one. And the lady who's helping me out can't see her face because my mom was filming on her iPad. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Michelle is helping me in this first video. And she, you can kind of hear her explain what's going on and what would happen if I couldn't get a reading from this side. How they would be able to do the open or close motion with that. So, here we go. Or open would be on the end. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, I did it. You see how little your twitch is right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this side's real. I mean, in worst case scenario, if we have to do a single site. We just switch Can it. you do, how does that work then? I take one electrode out. So just one movement would open. Like, so if we put the electrode on the outside lateral side of your arm and we, you just hold it, that will keep the hand open. Once you start to relax, the hand will start to close. It's nice to have the dual because you have better control. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. That's when I move my elbow down actually. Ooh, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so, see, so you're... Definitely like in that little nook. Yeah. You know, you're right here, which is what I have in your socket. Okay. And then this one. Right. Okay. 
So another question that I got uh, from another friend is, no, uh, those electrodes and